Our Growth Point teaching today takes us to James chapter 3, verse number 8, and it reads as follows. But no man can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil, full of deadly poison. This verse reminds us that we are unable to tame our tongues, that it is a restless evil, that it is full of deadly poison. We are reminded that we need to guard our lips. And as we guard our lips, we will guard our lives. But you and I are helpless in this area unless we get help. So who is the one who can help us? Who is the individual that we need to run to for help in this area? Obviously, it is Jesus and it is yielding ourselves to the Holy Spirit. Jesus has the power and the ability to tame our tongues. And Jesus goes right for our heart. So that means that you and I should not try to control our tongue in our own strength. Rather, we need to rely on the strength and the help that comes from the Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit who will help us control our speech. It is the Holy Spirit who will heal our hurts and prevent us from lashing out toward others. When we lash out toward others, we make all kinds of excuses to justify our lashing out. So you and I need to have our speech our thoughts, our words, our actions, surrendered to and controlled by the Holy Spirit. We need to be asking Jesus each and every day to help us in these areas of our lives. Heavenly Father, we realize and recognize that we need your help and that we need to depend on you in these areas in our lives, in our words, in our thoughts, in our actions. We need to surrender these areas to you each and every day and we need to allow your Holy Spirit to guide our thoughts, our words, our actions. So help us to surrender to you and as we do we will give you all the glory, honor, and praise in advance for what you are going to do in us and through us. I pray this prayer of blessing over you. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. Because of you, Jesus, and the hope of heaven, we believe and we know the best is yet to come. Amen.